It was a day of one resignation and one swearing in. Exactly 15 years apart, both were women. Can you guess? Keep watching as I reveal who these ladies were. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sotonye Afiesimama. If you're a subscriber, thanks for your support. If you're a returning visitor, I appreciate you dropping by once again. Why not subscribe so that you receive updates of my video uploads? If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel where I discuss events that occurred on this day in history with a view to informing, hopefully entertaining, and most importantly, that we learn lessons from the positive as well as the negative events that took place on this day. The idea is that we do not repeat these mistakes because as the saying goes, history tends to repeat itself. So guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's get cracking as we reveal the first significant event on this day. We will go back to the year 1890. This was the day in 1890 that the man pictured here, Charles de Gaulle of France, was born. So, who was Charles de Gaulle? Full name, Charles André Joseph Marie de Gaulle, was a French army officer and statesman who led the free French forces against Nazi Germany in World War II and chaired the provisional government of the French Republic from 1944 to 1946 in order to re-establish democracy in France. In 1958, he came out of retirement as president of the Council of Ministers. He rewrote the Constitution of France and founded the Fifth Republic after approval by referendum. He was elected president of France later that year, a position to which he was re-elected in 1965 and held until his resignation in 1969. He was the dominant figure of France during the early part of the Cold War era. His memory continues to influence French politics. Charles de Gaulle died on the 9th of November 1970, a few days away from his 80th birthday. So again, this is Charles de Gaulle who was born on this day in 1890, former French president. Okie dokie, on this day in 1943, Lebanon proclaimed its independence from Yasu, France. So, um, however, it did not become wholly independent until 1946, so until three years later, that's when it gained its full independence. So, I'll show you some pictures of the proud Lebanese celebrating their independence day. Okay, it's a Lebanese flag, jubilant crowds. Okay, let's move on to the year 1963. It was sad news for the United States and for the world, really. This guy, well recognized all over the world by billions of people at least hundreds of millions of people. US President John F. Kennedy, this was the day, this was actually minutes, maybe even moments before he was assassinated. Uh, the most notorious political murder in recent American history occurred on this day in 1963, when John F. Kennedy, the 35th US President, was shot and killed in Dallas, Texas by riding in an open car. Now, the next picture. Watch what happens here. You can see his distressed wife, Jackie Kennedy, who became Jackie Kennedy on Assis, um, distressed. The president has been hit by bullets, slumped over to her side. She must have, you know, clambered over him, 
to find out what you know what was going on. But you know, as we all know, he eventually succumbed to his injuries and died. So let's move on now to the next event on this day, 1975. If you remember in my previous video, I did mention um, Francisco Franco of Spain. So this is a guy who took over from him. His name is Juan Carlos. He became king of Spain two days after the death of Francisco Franco. Again, I will put a link to that video here if I find it. I should be able to find it. So it's only posted two days ago. So I'll put a link here so you can check that out as well. Okie dokie. Um, next, born on this day, 1984, Scarlett Johansson pictured here. So who is Scarlett Johansson? Her full name is Scarlett Ingrid Johansson. She is an American actress and singer, the world's highest paid actress since 2018. Wow. She has made multiple appearances in the Forbes Celebrity 100. Her films have grossed over $14.3 billion worldwide making Johansson the ninth highest grossing box office star of all time. She is the recipient of several accolades, including a Tony Award and a BAFTA Award, as well as nominations for two Academy Awards and five Golden Globe Awards. So, happy birthday, Scarlett Johansson, born on this day in 1984, the ninth highest grossing box office star of all time. I'm sure we can see why. Talented and beautiful, perfect combination. Oscar Pistorius was born two years later. Pictured here, I call him the Bionic Man. Um, you can see that he's disabled, lost use of both his legs. He is a South African athlete, full name Oscar, Oscar Leonard Carl Pistorius. He's a former professional sprinter and convicted murderer. So apparently he shot his um, girlfriend by mistake, but he was convicted for the crime. Both of Pistorius' feet had been amputated when he was 11 months old due to, a, uh, due to a congenital defect. He was born missing the outside of both feet and both fibulae. Pistorius ran in both non-disabled sprint events and in sprint events for below knee amputees. He was the 10th athlete to compete at both the Paralympic Games and the Olympic Games. So again, Oscar Pistorius, born on this day in 1986. So I guess he's been locked up in, in prison, um, convicted for murder. I had to go out to the family of his um, girlfriend's, you know, his girlfriend's family who would be... Um, you know, mourning the loss of their their daughter and sister and granddaughter, a friend, cousin, you know. Anyway, let's move on now to the year 1986, same year, same year, with a second round knockout of Trevor Burbick. The 20-year-old Mike Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. You know, so 1986, this is what happened. Trevor Burbick was knocked out by 20-year-old Mike Tyson, he made history by becoming the youngest heavyweight boxing champion in boxing history. 1990, yes, I did allude to this in the beginning. Margaret Thatcher is the one who resigned on this day, she announced her resignation as British Prime Minister after a split occurred in the ranks of the Conservative Party. So this is the Iron Lady giving her resignation speech, flanked by her husband, Dennis, and she leaves in the car um, in tears. You know, very sad that um, she was living down in the street for good. Um, I guess sad that they split in the Conservative Party as well and all the stuff that was going on. Okay, 1995. Moving swiftly on, Pixar's Toy Story, the first entirely computer animated feature length film was released and became a critical and commercial hit. So the year again was 1995 and it was Pixar's Toy Story pictured here. 
last but not least. So we've had one resignation, and then interestingly, the two largest economies in Europe. So this is the largest economy in Europe, the United Kingdom, the second largest. And I guess even at the time this happened, yeah, that was the case as well. First and second, headed by women, 15 years apart, um, Margaret Thatcher resigns in 1990, 15 years later, German politician Angela Merkel sworn in as the country's chancellor, becoming the first woman to hold the post. Interesting coincidence, isn't it? Once being, once resigning and the other one is taking um, over. So Angela Merkel sworn in as the country's chancellor, Germany's chancellor, becoming the first woman to hold the post. On that note, folks, we have come to the end of today's Today in History. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed my content. Um, join me tomorrow for another edition of Today in History. My name again is Sotonye Fiesimama. Stay safe, and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.